This morning, the Republican Jewish Coalition kicked off their annual convention, and Republicans' bigwigs dutifully flocked to the event to pay homage to the far-right Zionist lobby and to whitewash the crimes of the racist settler colonialist government of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who is facing a referendum on his leadership in the upcoming elections, from which the only democracy in the Middle East just banned two major Arab parties from participating in. The main event, of course, was the speech by President Donald Trump, which began with a display of the maturity and effortless grace that he is so famous for. The president swung directly into an attack on Rep. Ilhan Omar, D. Minnesota, who has been subjected to a disgusting bad faith smear campaign from both the right and the center for her criticisms of the Israel lobby's outsized influence in American politics, criticisms that were vindicated by Trump's attacks and unfounded insinuations of anti-Semitism. He then praised a young man named Jared Kushner, who happens to be his son-in-law, and promised that if he couldn't bring peace to the Middle East then nobody can, which is terrible news for the world since Kushner's ham-fisted efforts to bring peace to the Middle East have only succeeded in enraging the Palestinians and turned himself into a diplomatic laughingstock. Unable to appear in public without lashing out at his predecessor, he slandered both President Barack Obama and his wife Michelle for no apparent reason. He even accused the room of having supported Obama, indicating that the fact that the vast majority of Jews support Democrats is stuck in his craw, before being reminded that he was speaking to a room full of Republicans and quickly backtracking. He took a moment to brag about how he arrogantly ignored and mocked the demands of the majority of the international community when he decided to trigger a major diplomatic crisis by moving the U. S embassy from Tel Aviv to the contested city of Jerusalem. He also bragged about how little he understands about both the Israeli-Palestinian crisis and what the Golan Heights actually are with some bizarre strategic advice, then referred to his ambassador to Israel as a big beautiful baby for some inexplicable reason. And made sure to let everyone know his tremendous brain is working just fine by slurring his words like a drunkard or a stroke victim. The rest of his speech was filled with the usual lies about America's trade deficits, the extreme agenda of the Democrats, and his appalling xenophobic rhetoric about asylum seekers and immigrants in general, accusing them of being gang members in disguise and repeating over and over that we're full, can't accept any more. While he said all the right things for his audience, which he seemed to believe were all Israelis and not American Jews, referring to Benjamin Netanyahu as your prime minister on multiple occasions, it is stunning how he can give these wild, insane and convoluted speeches time and time again to raucous cheers and no questioning of his obviously decaying mental faculties, his utter disregard for empirical fact or the reckless and off-the-cuff way he makes decisions that affect the lives of millions of people.